Hello everybody, welcome to game three of Undead Overexplained. Uh, win the toss, receive the ball. Um, I was thinking, I, I forgot to end, I unfortunately ended the stream, the YouTube video too early. Oh my God, what a terrible intro. Um, so I couldn't show you the after the game stuff. There was a zombie on 4SPP, so random general in the hope of block, wrestle or dirty player. Did not get one of those three skills, so sacked him and got a new zombie. And also added a 12th player, the third ghoul. So now the the team's a lot more stable now with 12 players and three ghouls. Uh, it's so uh, that's actually quite a big improvement to the team. Um, and obviously that does inflate our TV a little bit. But we've got a chaos player here, Damo Chuckles. I I know the name um, from chat probably, <laughs> probably. Uh, I think so and uh, yeah he's got a block he's got a block beast but he's got you know he's got no Minotaur which is actually quite scary that is actually quite scary right like it's it's silly because it's not really a good player but it's high variance and you know I, I, I don't want to face high variance things right I'd rather I'd rather somebody had a more you know a more stable team against me because I feel <laughs> that uh, that's the way most of my opponents are going to beat me, right? Is by high rolling. So that assessment is going to have to be an individual assessment. But that's generally how I feel when I'm playing. I feel like you know that's that's how I um, that's how I'm gonna that that's generally how I feel I'm gonna lose games. Now, of course, depending on where you're at, that might not be where you lose games, and. You'd rather they, <laughs> they'd rather they had a minnow and hope that it rolls badly, right? So, but that's generally where I am with that. Now, I, I'm I, if I sub like this, I'm horribly exposed to a blitz, even from chaos. So I think, unfortunately, I have to put players on the sideline like this, which is a little bit annoying. But this this means that you know a blitz is okay. I can open the three dice and then make this a two D after that. So also like this is a really good argument for blitzing a uh, a chaos warrior, isn't there? With a mummy. So actually, I'll do that. Let's do that. Let's block with block, then block with block, and then blitz him with a him or him with a mummy, or just block, make more blocks. So this is actually, this really is good, because I can't really blitz him with a block player very easily. Um, I don't know, it's six and two, three, no, this is a three dice. Okay, no, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah, we'll do it like this way, there you go. Sorry, this is obviously a bit of stream of consciousness. It's not, uh, it's not perfect analysis, is it? It's, uh, three dice with a mighty blow is more chance of a mighty blow knockdown. Armor eight is more chance of a Mighty blow removal. I want removals. You win, of course, by scoring more touchdowns than your opponent. But the the thing that influences that more than anything else is removal, right? The, the removals are the are the big the big key points in the game is removals. Removals are super important. So you want to uh, minimize. the chances of your guys getting removed. Right, so we've caught the ball instantly there. Got a bonus reroll. Glorious. Get the power. So the bad thing about this is we don't get to follow that hit. Which is very sad. Now I'm going to go straight in for the blitz here. Block. Because again, it's like more reliable, right, than the... Uh, well, certainly than the one we hit there. There's a good argument for going here and basing him, and I think, well, actually, that seems rather good. Where's this guy going? Um, I actually don't know, and I should know, right? I should think more about where this guy is going to go, because um, he should be there already, <laughs> basically. This guy can go there and afterwards. Uh, so I th actually, let's block this guy first. So this zombie can go one, two, three, four, and protect him and pressure him. 
this one can go here to protect the mummy a bit. So he probably should have gone there already, because he's protecting the mummy. So I probably should have already done that. Now he's not. Gonna, now the other one isn't going to go there. I'm going to make the additional block. It is a blockless block though, so maybe it's better to go for the pickup so that I've got the. I'm more willing to use the reroll on the pickup. There was a time when you only had one reroll a turn, so you had to prioritize in terms of where you, where your reroll was used at all. Now you've just got to prioritize which you're more likely to use a reroll on. Um, he can blitz this guy, but it's still screened, isn't it? So I think here is okay. And I can eat the dub skull now. Don't have to. Good. So yeah, th this guy can get blitzed and knocked over, but then these two complete the screen. It's all about screens, right? Like connections and screens. So um, even if he powers this guy, he still can't come through and base the ball. He can't get two dice on the mummy. If he one dices the mummy and then powers it and bases the cage, it's a bit of a problem, but then that's a bit of a crazy move, isn't it? So I'm not sure I'd have rerolled that pickup, by the way, if if I didn't have four rerolls, the uh the, the extra reroll really made that an easy decision to reroll, I think. Randor strength on zombies and firing anything but guard. Yeah, Thurling, that's okay. That's okay. But I think like an early block is really good, right? So early on, I'm rolling generals to get an early block or wrestle or DP. And then maybe it's later on with a higher TV and you've already got a dirty player. Then yeah, maybe 20k guards is all right, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, also what you can do is just get a random block and then random strength afterwards, right? <laughs> but um, yeah. Yeah, so so the thing is the high variance. The high variance it should depend on like your other advantages in the game, right? There's there's four things in the game. Um Yes, uh yeah, so Demento following the white. I would have I could have followed with the white, yes, if I powered. Um but yeah, with the both down obviously I, I didn't need to do that. But yeah, he probably should have been there earlier. Um, I didn't mind having a bit of width in case, you know, something happened. So I, I didn't hate not moving him earlier. But seeing as he was going in there, protected the mummy, I probably should have moved him earlier. I probably should have made that assessment. Um, yes, exactly, Dimmy. Yeah, rather hit the low AV guys with my ball. Like, obviously, so it's, it's, it's not obviously, well, it is obvious. Let me think about my sentence before I start saying it. Obviously, you would rather remove a Chaos Warrior because it's a better player. You'd obviously rather remove better players. But um, you also want to maximize your chance of removal. So that's the tension, isn't it, right? Like, like for example, you want to foul a War Dancer and kill it, don't you? So you really want to kill their best players, but also you do want to maximize the chance of removals. So, um, so it's a little bit of tension between those two things. But yeah, generally I favour. Also maximising three dice, right? The three dice is, is really good for maximising the chance of knockdown. So the chance of knockdown is super important. So two dicing a warrior um, without block. And then like two versus two dicing a beastman with block. It's way better to three dice the beastman and then two dice the warrior with block, right? So so it was maximising knockdowns was, was was very good there. Unfortunately, these, these strength up warrior, well, not strength up, right? They're strength four. Warriors are strength four. Oh, I'm, I should have put on all the skills, shouldn't I? Sorry. Sorry, beginners. I did forget. Right, so we're just going to block here because he's got block. Um, <laughs> should I have done that in that order? Maybe not, actually, right? Um... probably do have to blitz this guy. I don't have to blitz this guy. I want to block this guy in three dice. And then move over there. I can move over there already. So 
So let's move her over there already. Make that a 2D. So I could I could put a player in there, blitz him, and then if it's a push, I've got three dice on him with a mummy as well. And if it's a pow, then I can come back here. So I think that probably is best. It leaves us a little bit exposed, but it's okay. I get the one in nine. That's disappointing. Still have this hit though, right? Blockless. So we've got a 3D now. Beat him off. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. So this, this one is the danger at the moment. So we can pull this guy back to stop that. And he can do a 2D. And then he can come in there to uh, help, you know, defend a little bit. Power there, good. And I think he just eats the hit, right? Because Chaos are a bit rubbish and it's just a blockless block. So even though I'd be <laughs> marginally safer dodging, right? It's a 50% dodge and it's a 55% chance he knocks me down. But then there's also like the 11% uh, the chance he has to burn a reroll. Hello, Dwyer. The hurry up was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm going really too slow here. I should try and talk more on the opponent turn. Yeah, all of the models should be bigger than they are. Yes, the, this is the thing. This is this. I do believe this is one of the problems with the game is the the players kind of get lost in their squares a little bit, don't they? Yeah, I'm taking way too long. Only two turns on forty five seconds in. So I'll, I'll I'll try and play a little bit more automatically and then, um, talk a little bit later. So the, this is giving up a block, right? But it is only a, he's got to move a player, so it's taken him two players to make the hit, and it's blockless, so that's okay, isn't it? And by standing this fellow up, he's getting hit. By standing this player up, he's getting hit. So by standing this player up, he's getting hit. So he's giving away a lot of hits here, and he's got to really jam in with the warriors to do something about it. Um, and obviously, if he jams in with warriors, then the mummies are going to get to punch him which I'm quite happy about pushes me away there probably should have kept me on the, on the warriors right keeps me controlled there on two, on two strength 4 players that I can't really do anything about I'm just a strength 3 peon also I can't assist blocks there whereas now I can just stand up and, and instantly assist the uh, guru block here only turn two so I've got plenty of time to get forward I don't have to worry about getting forward too much yet that's pretty good to mentor okay here, here here's the here's here's the thing right If you go to my Discord, <laughs> there's general chat, and then the second uh, channel 
is engagement questions. So post your engagement questions there, please. <laughs> right. Okay, so. We can blitz this mummy, uh, this mummy, it's not a mummy, what's this guy? A Chaos Warrior, we can blitz this Chaos Warrior or this Beast Man. We can block other things. So we put him in there for the block. Ball's pretty safe. Stand him up. Block with a girl, it maxes blocks, which is important. Gets the knockdown, good. Stakes, I don't want to get based on a girl. Block this fella. Beat him off, good enough. Block this guy, because he's got block. Take the power, move forward. Tuck in behind the warrior. Uh, the warrior, the mummy. Uh, the problem is the the blitz is the problem with the blitz is I'm, I'm kind of exposing the mummy, right? That's that's a little bit. At the moment, the ball's safe, so now I can make the block with this girl, no problem. Now it really exposes. If, if I like 1 in 81 here, the ball's completely exposed. I'd have to put the player up here, which exposes the back. So I don't want to do any of that. So what I'm actually going to do is just bring him in, in the corner. And then go for a one dice blitz to rescue my... Uh, rescue my zombie there. You can go back there. At the moment, he can block him into a follow-up block, right? This makes it a little bit harder. So, yeah, not getting much penetration here, but the bottle's very solid. I thought was okay. This is okay. Turn three. Like, this is the thing, right? Chaos, you know, they're, they're a weird team because they're really not very good, right? They lack block, but they have a lot of strength. They can strength four blitz with anybody on their team because they're either strength four or they have horns. So because anybody's got strength four blitz, all of their desperation plays are actually pretty good. So you really do want to get uh, penetration against them early. And uh, should I make a video, by the way, on the... Uh, on the... The four P's of blood. We need a P rather than cover. The problem is, right, like the four P's of blood ball is obviously fantastic. But the thing is, um, panic, yeah, yeah. The five P's of blood ball, panic. <laughs> yes, do I? Yes, I have explained. So, so how the gym con worked was, right, it's all, it's two, it's all two factor authentication issues, do I? Um, I made the Gymcon account because when I went to um, Gymcon uh, UKTC last year, I didn't have a uh, I didn't have two-factor authentication. It wouldn't work. The two-factor authentication wouldn't work on my Jimmy Fantastic account. So I had to use, I had to make a second account that was Gymcon. So I streamed, because I didn't think of just recording it and then making videos, right? So I just streamed, I live streamed like an idiot day one. So, which, so now those, those streams are lost to time, because I wasn't like a partner or anything. So those streams just got deleted like within like a day or something. So unfortunately those Gymcon streams were lost to time. Um, but um, anyway, so that's, where the, that's when the Gymcon, because it was for Gymcon. And then uh, now I've got more two-factor authentication problems, which is uh, which is stopping me using my Jimmy Fantastic account. So there you go, pretty annoying. Planning. Well, no, no, it's, it's got to be for cover, right? It's got to be for cover. So you've got you've got protection and penetration on offense, and you've got pressure and cover on defense. But like cover is the absolute perfect word because that is what it is. Oh wow! So that I mean that was crazy for him, right? Crazy variance. Like that was. Some would say it wasn't a good move, but it wasn't really a bad one, right? Because at the end of the day, it uh, it could work, and did. It 
could be the three P's. Oh yeah, it's always protection. Nah, because cover cover is then like then it's different, right? Put him in there to get this blitz off. The blitz isn't that good anyway. You make it a 3D. Good. No, cover's too good. Like, cover is just literally too good. It is exactly what it is. And it's like, you know, an American football-y type thing. I could put in the assist and get the blitz in. But then I'm leaving the corner open. So I guess what I have to do is come back here and then one dice blitz. As lame as it is. But it's just a 2 plus, right? It's pretty good odds. And I've got block and he doesn't. No, it's, it's got to be cover. It's got to be cover. It's, it can still be the three Ps. It can still be the three Ps. But there you go. Should I do a video on that? I probably should, shouldn't I? Um, because that, like, somebody was saying in the Discord today, the Blood Bowl 3 Discord. <laughs> that godforsaken place. Um, there was this guy. I actually, I actually... Uh, I didn't copy all of his comment. I just wish there were like a BB version of Sajam, Diaphone, Rufflemonger, etc. And somebody was like, are you smoking crack? <laughs> and he was like, they like break down the concepts in fighting games and stuff. And it's like, well, are there any concepts in Blood Bowl? Like, does anybody know? Like, the problem is, Blood Bowl's like pretty, like it's pretty, I don't know. It's not really mysterious, but like, we just don't know, do we? Like, it's unknown. Like, you know, the, the people who are good at Blood Bowl aren't that good. And then it's all like, you know, it's, there's dice rolls and stuff which confuse everything and like, no one really it's just tough it's just tough to like are there any really any concepts anybody like i don't know what the concept like i guess caging is a concept right like maxing blocks is a concept so i, I guess like videos like you know concept videos is probably something to try and think about doing no oh, man you might foul this mummy as well now and that's two assists not just one I'm getting the turn four panic here, to be honest, because he's got a big wall and I haven't done anything here. He is going to foul him as well. This this leaves a gaping hole. This does leave a gaping hole. Ah, he hasn't. If he didn't get sent off, though. <laughs> the gaping hole was more if he got sent off. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, Blood Bowl is like, do this sometimes. But also, we also don't know when, or what, or how. So, it's a funny old game, isn't it, Blood Bowl? Alright, um, I really just want to make this blockless block. This is a... So now, right, here's the thing, yeah? I want to make this block. It's a blockless block. I'm going to re-roll it, but there is a 1 in 81 chance that I'm in a lot of trouble. So there's arguments to be made for like moving the ball first, etc, etc, etc. But I want to know if I power this guy. And then if I power him, I follow, bring this guy in, blitz this guy with block. I guess I try and cage here, so maybe just try and cage here anyway. Yeah. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I can. Like this 
has given us a lot safer ball. So if this is a 1 in 81, it's not as bad. I think I probably should have pushed him there. Just not getting forward, am I? Oh, beautiful. Okay, stun is huge. That might work. Let's put both the mummies together. And now, <laughs> unfortunately, no, I think we can put this here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. So the two mummies next to each other is going to be pretty hard for them to like dislodge them. They're, they've got people behind them, so it's not easy to get the hits on. So four on two there. That's a really good trade, isn't it? Four on two. I guess, yeah, trades is a concept. Oh, uh, well, there's another channel. I really need to organize the Discord with uh, with channels as well. But, um, like, organize the Discord. That's something to do one day, isn't it? Right. Did he just one D me? Yeah, he did. I mean, that's okay, right? If you're reducing your opponent to one dicing, yeah. That's kind of okay. But if he'd got the power, he could have got a 2D. But, again, it's only another 1D. Um, I guess caging is a thing, isn't it? Stalling is a thing. Um, max blocks. Safe moves first. Kind of like min blocks, right? Max blocks you make, min blocks you take. Um, okay. If we think of any other ones. I'll write them down. No, nah, co cover is too perfect. Oh, the, the, this was this ages ago. No, this was, this was recent. We're still going on trying to get the four Ps. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's three Ps. Cover is it cover is perfect for what it is, right? It's just like just like the NFL then. With cover and protection. Like it is protection, right? It's like protection for the quarterback, right? Protecting the ball. It's gotta be protection. it it's also gotta be penetration. And it's gotta be cover. And it's gotta be pressure. Like it's it's actually perfect the way it all works. Okay, so now we have to go really soon. Um, I want to blitz the blocker. And power him. Okay, yeah, so, so we're going to open with a blockless block. No, we're going to open with standing this guy up. Safe moves first. I'm going to block this fella. Hopefully, pow him and base two players with one of mine. Great trade. Oh, yeah, trade. That was it. That was it. Trades. Trades is what I was thinking. Okay, so obviously, pow here is just incredible. So just hopefully, just pow him. Amazing. I'm the best at Blood Bowl. Um, I guess I want any other player. Oh, no. One, two, three. Three. Any, I want any other player assisting, but I don't have any other players, so it's going to have to be him. I didn't actually have to do this one. I could have moved first. Oh, my God. I could have actually just moved first as well. Right, so I've got three players to go with the ball.
which coming up through the middle isn't actually that good, is it? Because I can't really defend against everybody. Okay, so I actually didn't get forward at all, but got a couple of guys forward, uh, screened him off a little bit. He's got loads of players over here, hasn't he? So I didn't get forward, but um, I've got people in front of the ball at least. Oof. Yeah, we've got a sliver of pen, like, you know, this drive may be, uh, may be prioritized protection too much, right? But you kind of have to versus Chaos because they've got the strength four blitz whenever they want. You know, and okay, he's out of re-rolls. Maybe I should have tried to push harder. Um, trades, yeah, trades. F should I put like favorable, favorable trades? I mean, no, just the concept of trades. I don't know, yeah. Uh, concept, like trades is the concept, right? Trades. <laughs> yeah, people love watching that in the NFL, don't they? Yeah, when they get drilled. I always remember. I always remember uh, Reggie Bush. I always remember Red Reggie Bush getting drilled, and uh, he like bounced up as if nothing had happened, you know, like in a show of bravado, and then like just collapsed because actually he'd been fucking drilled. I have not dry it. I have not given up on NAF at all. Um, what's happened has been there's just been a series of events <laughs> whereby um, they haven't happened for a few days. Like, you know, playing Sol, casting Super League, um, having this idea of the over explained stuff. I could have been talking about his turn here as well, by the way. I'd totally zoned out. Um, I guess I should be also be talking about what he's doing. And how I'm going to try to counter it and stuff, but uh, also this chat stuff as well. So I'm thinking about this concept, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So I do have the three plus here, don't I? To maybe screen with him. Problem is these zombie these mummies are just too slow to do anything. Like this guy could blitz him, blitz him, but he's not doing a whole lot. Like I could block this warrior and then blitz him. And then like try and just run away up here. But it's not good, is it? And then similarly over here I can block there and I could block here and I could blitz up there, but then I just don't have the players. Maybe this way is the best way. Maybe I can uh, block this one first and see what happens. No, but then if I'm going this way... No, I've still got a block. Oh god, I pushed him. Okay, well this is now a disaster. Now we've got to blitz him, I guess. Get the power, push him up to there. Dodge off and a double GFI off to screen me. Like, not really, because he's there as well. I can go there, right? Ah, oh, it 
it's not far enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. One in nine is fair. So the play from this guy was to go four, five, six, seven, eight, jump over this, and then nine to get something out in front. So it, there was actually a plan that could have worked, but of course the only dodge made by a ghoul was a failure. And not dead though. And got two players removed. Versus one. So it was an unlucky half. Like I've got I've got mummies. I outblocked him by far. And I've got mighty blow. And uh he's removed more players than me. He's actually got the chance of a counter score as well because he's still got two turns left. So this could be very bad. But I did probably I did probably balance too far in the way of protection, right? I was playing very safe that half. Maybe I should have taken a few more risks of getting the mummies hit and stuff, push forward a bit harder. Um, you know, Dimmy always mocks me here. He's he's holding his head in his hands, but he always mocks me for trying to get forward, and I guess I should try to get forward a little bit earlier. Um, yes, yeah, that was his that was his counter score, wasn't it? But he's got no rerolls. He's got no re-rolls, um, so you know maybe I should have tried to. Maybe I should have exposed the ball a bit more. You know, push forward earlier. I don't know. But yeah, at least not getting scored on. Okay, he gets the power. Yeah, he did the right thing. Made it three D. Yes, I, I guess I didn't need to move the ball there first, did I? But at least I had it in range. That was a thing, wasn't it? Like, he could have just pushed me here and I could have scored. So, um, I feel like moving the ball carrier first was best. <laughs> marching up, then marching down. I actually like that because it. I actually like the moving up first. After saying move back, obviously, my, my idea about moving back was the fact that... Uh, I wanted to get the um, troll moving. Like it was, hard. I wasn't guaranteed to move the troll, but Dimmy didn't have a troll, so he could move at will. So I actually liked the moving forward, then moving back um, to keep the tree pinned where it was. Okay, let me draw that. This is a big foul. I'm likely to only get one of these guys back and I've only got one reserve, so I guess I'm not gonna foul. And he shouldn't foul me, but he, he might. There's nothing I can do about that. Yes, no, the, the suicide zombie was terrible and the guard exposure was terrible, but Moving forward a little bit, then moving back was I like I like the moving forward to like you know to make tree not activate the tree for a turn and then like or maybe even two right and then go back so then like oh now now the tree's got you know has got four turns like so it just basically took the tree away from the dacker so I I liked a little bit of going backwards and forwards to take the tree out of the dacker but um, yeah not feeding the tree a zombie and definitely not exposing them. The, the, the guard. I mean, the guard could have also been pushing the tree. I prefer pushing the guard onto the tree um, than where it went. I mean, you very, you very much. Yeah, yeah. You, you did read the block. 
But that's the thing, isn't it? Like, you know, the reason to go forward is to try and get some attrition, so then it kind of makes sense to do that. Mm. I mean, not getting scored on is a big chance, though, right? Like, so defending the Dakar is... Uh, is... It's paramount to make... You know, like, if going in at nil-nil is better than removing a few players and going in one nil down. Now, obviously, you ended up doing <laughs> doing both by... Uh, by the snake and the dead dancer, so you got the amazing best of all worlds. But I feel like you've got to try to stop the score, right? Which you need, like you need, you did as well, but just because of the double score, double one, basically. Right, so the white stays out. Sad. But we still have 11 players. And he's only got 10, I think. Yeah, he's only got 10. So we are a player up. Having these one square back kind of defends the LOS a little bit. Ghouls free to move. You know, the ghouls might get blitzed. But um, what are you going to do about that? I think it's worth... I mean, I could just bring them in, right? I guess the Chaos aren't really going to go for a quick score. And if they do, I've got quite a lot to react. I don't really have... Like, if they go for a quick score, I don't win. That's the problem, right? I don't think they'll go for a quick score. But if they do go for a quick score, I can't win. Is the problem. So that's making me want to go... Want to go uh, chevrons just so that they can't quick score. I guess you'd have to blitz this. It would be hard. Yeah, okay. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go with this. Yeah, removals are definitely not your only chance. Like, I mean, they kind of, they kind of are, but not hunting for them to the detriment of the defense. I feel like the def you know touchdowns are more important than removals, right? Touchdowns are always more important than removals, but touch but removals are the single most important element that you know that generates an on-field, generating an on-field positional advantage, right? The, the positioning of your players is important. Putting your players in the right squares. But if I've got 11 players and you've got 7 players, I'm much more likely to put my players in the right place, right? And make it hard for your players because you've only got 7 of them and I've got 11 of them. So, like, so that's the thing, isn't it? Glorious problems. <laughs> the old double dacker yeah the double dacker is okay as well. right, so he's not going for the quick score which is which is what, what we want anyway because right? we want to get the win here um, got to be aware of trying to steal the ball away from him at some point not not good enough to just defend this half we really want to push for the win I don't know where the, the offense went wrong. Well, I guess I guess I focused too much on protecting the ball, and I should have like I should have just tried. I should have tried harder to get a penetration, shouldn't I? I guess that was it. I leaned too much towards the uh, the protection when I should have been going for penetration. Because he wasn't pressuring either, he was having the cover. He leaned more to cover, and I leaned more to protection, which is kind of stupid, right? You should lean more to protection if they're leaning towards pressure. And if they're leaning towards cover, then you should lean towards penetration. So, it was just uh, I guess it was like a drive-building 
failure. Okay. Not removed is good. How well sick. It is, it's a major, major, <laughs> major issue for blood bowlers, <laughs> lack of penetration. <laughs> yeah, I'm not panicking. Not panicking. Definitely going to count score. I mean, Chaos aren't good, are they, at Rookie Chaos? Like, they're kind of alright, like, because they do have the, the strength for blitz or whatever. Like, it's pretty good. They're pretty good at knocking down mummies. And mummies are, like, the entire linchpin of your team, so... They're kind of annoying. They're not as bad as people think. But they are susceptible to like bad dice with no block and only three rerolls. So let's see. That's the pickup. Sad. Mm. Not blitzing the mummy. Unless it's a 1D, which seems crazy. Okay, he's 1Ding the mummy. <laughs> no, he's not. He's just randomly getting punched by a mummy. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad. Oh my god, it's a straight death. And now it's 10 versus 10. And he gives away a block pointlessly. Okay, giving away blocks pointlessly is bad. Can I get the assist in with him? Yes, so I'd rather get the block in the assist with him so I can maybe blitz with uh, block. Though I think I'm probably going to... Blitz with the mummy. We'll see if we re-roll this block. Yeah, which we do. So now, blitzing with... Block is safer than blitzing with the mighty blow. I skull. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. <sighs> I have to re-roll it. I mean, it's just ludicrous, isn't it? I lose two re-rolls and a player. <laughs> and he takes nothing. Ludicrous. I couldn't eat it, because he's punching a ghoul and then punching another one, right? That's three players. That's that's three of my players down, or one of his. That was like a huge swing. Absolutely huge swing. Like, literally, if, if I dub skull there, then he punches this one, and then blitzes this one, and, and it's three players that the, the flank is destroyed, and uh, he can skull. So I think that was, uh, unfortunately, an absolutely necessary one. Maybe what I should have done was, when I blocked him and used the reroll, I should have just pushed him away, and then done this three dice blitz anyway. And then I'm, I guess I could have eaten the, the, the knockdown there. But I really couldn't eat that double skull. But it was a 1 in 36, wasn't it? So. Looks like he is pushing early now. Flip me. I've got one reroll left for the half. What a ludicrous. What a ludicrous turn.
panicking after seeing everything go his way. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do. I've never been this far ahead before. <laughs> At the moment, we can surf this uh, Beastman, so that's good. Safe, safe, safe. Do I put him here or here? In, maybe in. Okay, maybe block this guy first. Flip me. <laughs> Actually, I should have just moved this one first, eh? Alright, push him, follow. And these two come in. Okay, let's let's see what the block is. It is the push. So he's strength four five. And after I cancel this, I'm three, four, five, six. So I do need another assistant. So it's whether I put in the mummy here or the mummy here. If I put the mummy here, you can just punch him. You can just bring in two assists and punch him. But then it is costing him two assists to punch him. If I go back there, it kind of makes it harder to reverse because he does need to bring in two players to punch him. Yeah, maybe, maybe up here is better. Or maybe here. Just here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there. Get the knockdown. Get the surf guaranteed. Good. Good. Okay, so now you could like blitz this guy and go forward. So maybe I do have to just leave him there so he just definitely can't get the side. Then he's going to try and redirect the middle. But then if I go away over here to cover the redirect to the middle, which I could, then he's going to maybe just blitz and push down the side anyway. So I think I probably do have to keep him down the side, eh? One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. That's really hard to get too far. Maybe, maybe I do cover the this a little bit. That's exactly why I did it, Splaggy, yes. That's exactly why I did it, because it was funny if I got screwed. Yeah, let them hang themselves. Trap space, yeah. Yeah, oh, trap space, there we go. There's a good concept, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, the trap space and covering the side switch. It it does but it it, it is good, right? Like this would have this would have sealed the edge. Made it impossible to come down, but yeah, I'd rather he tried and failed. And yeah, he's more likely to be sensible. She has been, but I've got ghouls which are faster than his beast men, so they can get back. No problem. So I've got players that are faster and players that are stronger. I would like him to fail some things, it would really help.
This is quite good because if he follows to keep me controlled, he's he's just got to get punished by a mummy. So yeah, so he doesn't, which that's that frees up the the blocker. One D blitz. Could surf, could surf this warrior, right? Bring this guy in, 2D, 2D, and then another guy in 3D, 2D. So it would take one, two, three, four, five players. Could surf a warrior. Like, surfing a warrior is really good. It does take, like, three blockless blocks. So it's not the most sensible plan in the world. Block guy can come here to blitz him or can just blitz him minimize blocks but um, maximize safety and movement and stuff that's maybe the best idea I could have moved the, all the ghouls first as well, but I did, I did want to see what happened to him. Oh, baby! Okay, that's pretty good. So now this ghoul comes all the way over. And I guess these ghouls can go back to like holding the center. Oh no. I just let him go back down this side a little bit. <laughs> or a lot. been really nice to be able to re-roll that, wouldn't it? I couldn't use the last one, I don't think. Flip me. Oh, good, good. Reroll gone. Reroll burn. Gets away with it, but doesn't knock him down. So I've kind of made a... a Bad trade here on a three on two. I could have just left this two on two, but I did want the extra players over here to stop this side switch. It's kind of okay. Blitz is the ghoul. Oh, into a one in nine! Into pushes! Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, that's some good reroll burn there, isn't it? Sucked off two re-rolls, wonderful. God tier sucking off. Where is his ball? There's his ball. There is his ball. There is his balls. What can we do with his balls? Ah, oh, you dirtbag! Okay, he has to stand. 
he has to stand. He has to block this block. He has to assist. One, two, three, four. I want him to go there. So, yep, this has to be mummy block. I have to not. I have to reroll a fail. It's not a fail. He can go in there, keep them equal. A block with block, and it's an it's a Kaz. Yes. Um. So if I go here and I skull, how bad is it? Pretty bad. If I go here and I don't block, it's pretty good, isn't it? Here, so he's not he's not based by him. Here, you can get a serve. Obviously, easy serve here. If I, go, I mean, if I go there and I get the push, it's incredible because I push him onto the the mummy as well. Like the three plus there is great, but I can't reroll it. The skull means he pals him, he blitzes him, and he's through. If I stand here, he two d's him, he blitzes him, and he doesn't really get through as much. So, let's go there and be sensible. The ghoul has to punch, not dodge. Put him on the mummy. Can't 1D. Yeah, I mean, I could have done that. I could have done that to the two in, yeah. Yeah, I could have dodged out the ghoul. But I, I can punch instead, right? The punch is just basically better. But yeah, I guess the extreme looking, yeah, that's a good point actually. Yeah, maybe, maybe dodge the ghoul for that hit. Because on a three, yeah, and on a power is incredible. Yeah, maybe that was better. Shit. So max blocks <laughs> is the usual rule. But yeah, maybe... Maybe in that situation, the payoff was so great for that one dice. Like, I really wanted to be able to take the one dice. I really did want to be able to take the one dice, but he's kind of stopped himself blitzing now, hasn't he? By putting these two abreast. I thought to myself he can mess up this block, and he has messed up this block. Wonderful. <laughs> I gave him the chance to fail. Um... And you know, I could have knocked this guy over right and killed him, and then that's just that that's really good, isn't it? If this guy's down, like he can three plus out and stuff like you know, if he, if he pushed this guy to here and then he blitzed him and gone through, then this guy could have come through, and this guy could have dodged out if I hadn't blocked him. So, I don't know, this is really good, isn't it? This is actually really, really good now. He's got to dodge. Do, does he? Yeah. Yeah, he has to dodge. He's failed. Last reroll gone. Okay, good. Yeah, running out of time a bit, but there's just about enough time left. Yeah, he does get this 2D, unfortunately. Um, that was the that was the good thing about having the extra player. Like, making it a bad tra trade in terms of numbers meant that he didn't have a 2D, which was good. Last time. Okay, good. So he's free to play up. So, I think the important thing is to punch this 
guy and see what happens. Basically, I think that's the most important thing. I guess there is an argument for just bringing this guy in as a safe move. It counters this assist on making the blitz, but then he's the recovery, isn't he? No, 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 no. I have to just start with this block, see what happens. It is a pal. Okay, good. Where does it go? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, so I've got to block him. Ugh. Dead, dead, dead. Good. Right, he just goes back in to keep these occupied. If I punch him and pow him, then I get hit with block, don't I? So I have to do this block. Because this block is incredible if it's a if it's a uh, if it's a pow. I think the upside of that was too good, too good not to do. Now the bad thing is the push direction, isn't it? Because it could go in the crowd. But I've got a goo and he's got nothing free. Don't worry, he won't go in the crowd. I've got to push him away so he doesn't get the jump. No, 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 but if it's a power you do get hit with block. I would have hit, I would have, I would have taken the ghoul dodge and hit him without block. I think that was fine. Right, so we can block him. And chain one off. I think this guy just wants to go here, doesn't he? No. Oh, I don't know where he goes. Yeah, but it was a GFI, so the block was a GFI if I didn't make the block. Whereas this way it was a dodge with dodge. At the moment he's got a blitz here and stand there. And this is only a 1D. Or he's got like a block with him and a blitz with him. Like, he's got no rerun, he's in a horrible spot. But, um... I don't know what the... If he blocks, and then blitzes, and then runs down here, I've still got two players that can catch him. Yeah, there's no way to surf him that turn. Unfortunately, I could have surfed. <laughs> I could have surfed my uh, my zombie that turn, but uh, there was no way to surf him last turn. I mean, this time. I mean, he's in he's in trouble now. He's in a lot of trouble. To be fair, he's in a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, because to fill that square, he'd have to blitz, and then he's still on the sideline. So this is he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he does the one D. He's got no rerolls. Good. And how dangerous is the surf? It, going back here is very dangerous for me scoring, so I think I have to not surf him. If I can help it. Don't know why I didn't just take both down there. Okay, uh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, 
and these guys up. They probably should have done that first. Um, that was probably very bad of me. Right, try and power this guy here on three dice. Yep. Yeah, that's that's right, isn't it? You can go up there. And <laughs> failing the GFI really sucks here. Okay, don't have to re-roll it. Don't have to re-roll the pickup. And it looks like it's a win. Fua. Flip me, that was close, wasn't it? I ended up kicking the shit out of him, to be fair. First half didn't do a lot, but second half the mighty blow really started to kick off. And, uh. Whew. <laughs> Phew. Yeah, like you run out of players. Like I, they start, I started to get really good dice tonight in terms of the removals. As as horrible as the the two re rolls, the re roll burn early was horrible for me. But then uh, started to get good after that. And it's it's not over yet, but it's uh, it's obviously looking very good now, isn't it? It's not. It isn't over. I shouldn't have jinxed myself. <laughs> but uh, it is only like one in eighty one stopping us now. Thanks for Fibrio. And he, won, he fails the 1D there. It's not over. Right, so. Safe moves. One meter there. Five, six, seven, eight. Can't actually make it, nine. Um, so what I have to do is just zombie blitz. And make sure this guy's in range. First. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, so this guy's going to be out of range. And then this guy in a push will be out of it. I guess I can just go there, right, so that I'm kind of covering. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So just don't want an 81. Good. He is now out of it. He's totally good. So yeah, had, in case that was a 1 in 81, would have had the scoring threat ready to hand off on the last turn. And then now this one can be made. And a push is probably good. Because he's got two mummies on him. And he could only base the ball anyway. You can move him up. So I've got five strength there if he does somehow base the ball magically. <laughs> and take the skull. Good. Perfect timing on the dub skull. Well done. I could have re-rolled that, couldn't I, actually, with one turn left. There is basically no chance, right? One, you'd have to blitz, then jump. That's one, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. That's the rolls he'd have to make to base the ball. He'd have to uphill block. Double pows, four plus jump, uh, four plus uh, two plus GFI, and then a six plus dodge and another two plus GFI. So his dice to base the ball are ridiculous. So with that in mind, I could have re-rolled that hit because <laughs> I'd have still had to then after he did all of that, I'd have still had a two dice block on him. So I really should have re-rolled that dub skull because I could have got SPP on the white and that. that Armor roll could have killed my white. He's on six SPP. My white could have died by eating that dub skull. So I really should have re-rolled that because I'm not going to block in the last turn anyway. It's nil nil. I'm just going to score. So I absolutely should have re-rolled that. That was bad, Jim. 
because the the chance of this getting there is I, I don't know what's the chance 11 five and a half Um, three and a half, three point eight, um, half, something like point seven percent. He gets there. Then eight times out and Anna clearance. So he's like point one percent. So yeah, one in a thousand chance I don't score at that point. So I should have re-rolled it. There's a one in a thousand chance I'll need the reroll. So yes, I should have I should have rerolled it. Bad Jim. And I'm I'm not even gonna do it. Even if there was a 3D, I wouldn't think about it. I'd just score, so yeah. Bad Jim. I'm not rerolling that dub score. It was just like a reflex, right? Because I was just like I sort of wanna keep rerolls till the end of the half in case of critical rolls. I just like reflexively didn't use the reroll. Um but there you go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm in Silvers. This isn't the greatest for this, but you know, it doesn't matter. Does it? It's it's actually maybe better to be in Silvers so that I, you know, I can maybe focus more on the talking about stuff rather than trying to battle for a win as much. You know, no disrespect to any opponents, but obviously, um, what happens is your ranking goes down every season if you don't play, and I haven't played for ages, so that's why I'm down in Silver. Uh, obviously, I would be higher than that if I'd been playing. Right. So now we can uh, skill players. This is Sneaky Git, the first one. Sneaky Git is the most important skill. <laughs> Sneaky Git is the most important skill in the game. Not block for my ball carrier. No, it's Sneaky Git for my fouler. Brilliant. What a, what a, what a silly thing about, about the game of Blood Bowl these days. And uh, he takes guard because guard is good. And so you've got the choice of saving for block or taking guard, don't you? But guard is better. So you take guard. Well, it's not the guard, but you know, guard, having guard for six SPPs is better than not having guard for six SPPs. So take the guard first, and there you go. And then, so that's three guard now. Very good. Very good. And, um,. Quite a lot of TV. We're down to 11 players, so get the fourth goo. Good. So now a lot of TV, but have four ghouls. The other ghouls can score to get block. Um, once two of them have got block, then I'll start randoming the third. Um, that's how I like to do with ghouls. And, uh, you know, these guys will just continuously random and get fired so yep there you go um a lovely a lovely beginning developed team now beginning to be developed and uh yep thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic